here in this code sample in order to define a dependency property in this case a dependency property in class book we define the title as a property that use the get value and the set value functions inherited from the dependency object yes indeed when you define a dependency property you can do so only if your class extends directly or indirectly the dependency object class. In addition, uh, we should uh, define a static property of the type dependency property, a static property that will be assigned when the class is loaded to the memory, meaning um, we should assign this static property within the definition of the class. This is one option. And we should create the dependency property object by calling the static function register defined in dependency property class. Register should get the name of the property the property we are interested um, to function as a dependency property the second argument should be the type of that property we are dealing with in this case title is a simple property its type is string the third argument should be um, the type object that represents the class uh, in which we define the dependency property and then we can pass over a reference for a property metadata object an object that uh, provides more information about the dependency property where we, we try to define for example its uh, default value uh, the name of the function that will be invoked each time um, there will be a try to change the value of in this case of title and a name of a function that will be invoked through which we can change the value that someone tries to assign the title property and the last argument can be the function that we want to be invoked in order to verify that the assigned value is uh, legal and in our definition for this function we simply just need to return false if there is a problem and when uh, this function returns false then an exception uh, will be thrown so if we try to execute this code sample this is the output we get as you can see an exception was thrown uh, because we tried to assign a title uh, which is not legal according to the definition um, of our function the function that uh, validate the value is legal as you can see uh, once the execution is within title validate callback the exception is uh, thrown. We can also see that when we try to assign uh, legal values then uh, before um, the value in the, is, is changed uh, meaning before title change callback function is invoked uh, there is an invocation of title course callback a function that um, can change the, 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 the value we try to assign and before this function there is an invocation of title validate callback which is the function that we ask to be invoked in order to verify the value is legal before uh, moving forward with the other uh, uh, execution of the other functions.